Maps with decimal distances, how fun. So the thing to remember here is that by distance, we mean you have to walk along the, along the road. You're not allowed to fly. That's not legal. So the question is, how far is this? You can see it in the question. Calgary to Lethbridge, and you can see where the question mark is in the question, right? So the idea is the whole thing, the distance from Medicine Hat all the way to Lethbridge is 31.9. So how far is the last leg? Well, we have to add these legs together. So we have 10.6. There are going to be a lot of steps in these questions, so I probably won't write all of them out because I don't want to bore you. But 10.6 plus 9.5, this will give us a, a 0.1, right? This will give us a 1, and that'll give us a 20.1. And then that's, that's just from this dot to this dot. So to get the rest, we need 31.9 minus 20.1, which will be 11.8. Okay, so the whole thing is 18.4. This piece is 9.8. So the question mark is 18.4. minus 9.8, which will be 8.6. Whenever I can see the picture in a question, I'm much Whenever I see the question picture, I much prefer doing it that than reading all the words, right? So here I see the question is, what's question mark? I like that. There it is. You can read it too. But it says the whole, the distance from Hampton to London. So you should be careful there, right? Because it might not be the whole thing, right? They might trick you and, and give you the distance from here to here or something like that. So you do have to read that. So that whole distance is 45.2. So we have to subtract these three things from 45.2. So 45.2, well, let's add these first. So 45.2, let's add the, the other three first before we subtract them. So it's 13.1, 10 10.5, 12.4. Okay, so 13.1 plus 12.4 is 25.5. Then plus another 10.5 is 36. So these three circles add up to 36. And yeah. So now we do 45.2 minus 36. We get 0 0.2, 15, that's a 9.2, so we get 9.2. Okay, so using the path shown, how far is it from New London to New Hampshire? There's, so there's no, there are no questions here, right? There's just, add, this is just adding everything, right? So New London to New Hampshire, there's no question mark, rather. How far is it from New London to New Hampshire? So you just add these numbers. 10.6, 9 9.5. 10 plus 9 is 19. 0. 0.6 plus 0. 0.5 is 1.1. 1. 1. 19 plus 1.1 1. 1 is 20.1. 1. Ooh, look at this interesting shape. Looks like almost like a, a constellation. Using the path shown, how long is the shortest route from Madison to Beaumont? So we're tempted to uh, 
you know, well, let's, let's just think logically here. So you go for Madison, you only have one choice. You have to go to Lacombe. Now you're here, this is the idea. What's the shortest distance between two points? Could it possibly be this? Absolutely not, right? There's only one way to get from Lacombe to Caroline. It's got to be this way. And then there's only one way to get from Caroline to Beaumont. So it's gonna be these three things added up. So 10.5, 20.8, 9.9. Okay, so let's just pretend, yeah, let's let's add these two together. So 10.5 plus 20.8 is 31.3. And then 31.3 plus 9.9 .9 is 41.2. So it should be 41.2. Using the path shown, the distance from Vindale to Greenwood is 19.7 miles. How far is it from London to Greenwood? Okay, so again, they want this. They've given you the whole thing is 19.7. They've given you one piece is 8.6. You subtract them, you're gonna get 11.1. .1. So 11.1. .1. How far is it from Red Deer to Lethbridge? Ooh, they changed it up a little bit. Red Deer to Lethbridge. So we're gonna add these two numbers up. So 13.2 plus 9.1. That's gonna be a 0.3. That's gonna be a two, that's gonna be a two. So we're gonna get 22.3. Very nice. How far is it from Vindale to London? Okay, so we've got here to here. We just add these two numbers up. 12.5, 9.4, that's a nine, it's a point, that'll be a one, be another one here, so 21.9. How far is it from Smoky Lake to Catherine? Oh, that's that's a fun one. We don't have to add anything. It's just 12.6. All right, it's just 12.6. And what is the shortest route from Tremblant to Ottawa? So here's Tremblant, here's Ottawa. The shortest distance between two points is a line. So to get from Tremblant to Toronto, it's gotta be this. So 19.9 plus 11. 19.9 plus 11. Okay, let's do this the fun way, right? So that's basically 20. Plus 11 is 31. But now you might say, that's not basically 20. You can say basically in math, but okay, so how much did we, how much extra did we add? Well, we added 0.1 extra, right? So 30.9. You could also add these and get 30 and then do 0.9. Either way, it's 30.9. All right, hope that was fun. See you next time.